I'm used to all these hating assholes. Stay on my dick though. Yeah. <laughs>so much for all the love and support you guys gave me on my last video I really do appreciate it you guys are literally so sweet and thank you it means a lot because I did really open up on the last video so it's just nice to know that there are so many people there that are going through the same things as well and I'm just glad that I was able to relate with some people so yes thank you so much sorry if I wasn't able to reply to your comments I will be making sure that I do that as soon as I possibly can so today's video is not as serious as yesterday's video but hopefully you guys get to know me a little bit better afterwards since I'm reintroducing myself to you guys I figured that I should make a video kind of explaining more about me so today I am filming a 10 secrets about me so hopefully you guys get to figure out a little bit more about me but I'm actually like telling you guys some like real stuff and like I'm exposing some stuff that I haven't said like ever to anyone <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I don't even know, y'all, like, honestly, I don't even know if I should say the stuff that I'm going to say, but I feel like I'm just gonna say it because it's just, like, it's not that serious, and you live once. And yeah, hopefully you guys don't think I'm, like, too crazy after this video, but maybe you guys can relate, too, because I know y'all crazy as hell, too, so it is what it is, okay? It's life. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. So I'm gonna expose myself, but I'm not really doing it in any like particular order so it's like not from like super crazy to like least crazy it's kind of just you know scattered <laughs> so the first secret that I'm exposing about myself is that your girl is not in school yeah no <laughs> a lot of people ask me about that about if I'm in school or not no I am not in school I graduated high school in 2016 and then I went to Bowling Green State University for two months and then I dropped out so yeah <laughs> I dropped out a while ago um I'm actually going to do a video going more in depth and in detail as to why I really did drop out of school because there's so much more to it like even before you know in high school and all types of stuff so it's a lot of stuff to go into that video like I really have to do a video about it because a lot of people get a two cents about the school thing people be thinking they know what they talk about oh my god you gotta you should go to school you know what I'm saying you should get a degree you should do this you should do that you should do this you should do that like or I should just be myself and just be Maddie G like damn I didn't know that was such an issue like but yeah so the school thing is such like a crazy topic for me like honestly y'all I've been back and forth with my family about that for a very long time now they've accepted the fact that I'm not going to school and I have no plans on going back no plans like so I'm gonna do a whole video on the school thing because yeah I did drop out of school after only two months and I have no intention on going back so do not ask about it like do not no do not try to convince me or nothing I don't I don't want to go back I don't want to do it so no it's a lot like it's a lot that people don't know so you'll find out you gotta wait for that and find out secret number two that I am exposing about myself is that basically I always wanted to go to a HBCU and pledge I honestly this was my dream like I, always, I thought that I would go to FAMU and that I would be an aka that is where I'm supposed to be right now. Is that FAMU in an AKA? I'm not at FAMU and I am not an AKA. But honestly, I feel like my life has gone how it was supposed to go. I honestly do not think it was for me. And luckily, I do have friends that go to HBCU. So I'm able to still have like the HBCU experience without being at an HBCU. Which is still pretty lit. Pretty lit. But... Yeah. So this is secret number three that I'm exposing about myself. So your girl knows how to do her own oil changes. Ah. Yes, I do know how to do my own oil change for my car. For the car that I have now, which is a Hyundai Elantra. I do not know about any other car because you know it differentiates um, from car to car. But I do know how to change the oil on my car now. So. 
I'll insert a picture right here. So here is a picture of me changing the oil in my car. Doo -doo. I might insert like two. There. I wanted to learn how to do my own oil changes because I just like being very independent. Like anything I can do by myself, like I just wanna know how to do in any area. Like I just like being knowledgeable all across the board like because even as far as females like when you go into the car stores they try to get you to buy all types of stuff they assume that you don't know anything and it's be like no i know that i don't need no damn air filter like i know that like <laughs> my stuff is fine like they always try to like press stuff on you and it's just like no i think it's good to be knowledgeable about all different types of things so secret number for about me which is kind of like the same thing with the oil change that I do know how to do construction work as well I know you guys are probably like girl what like you do not seem like the type but what is the type in the city that I live I actually did a lot of the redevelopment um, in our downtown so I actually used to be an administrative director for a construction company and so me and the owner were very close and so I was able to actually be on the jobs and just learn how to do everything so yeah and which is another secret about me too is that I am a notary public which means that I'm legally allowed to notarize anything in the state of Ohio which is why I was able to become an administrative director which a lot of people would do wonder too like how I got to do so many of the things that I've done like with no college degree and stuff like that for the ladies for the ladies for the ladies for the ladies for whoever if you don't know how to do something let me tell y'all something it is nice to acquire skills because you could do like y'all like I have skills in like a broad range of areas like you know what I'm saying I'm able to do a lot of different things so I never really am like stationary but if you know me you know that I'm a model you know I'm signed to an agency you know I'm on a contract and everything I never wanted to be like just the model because that was never like really me even as far as modeling like I love it like it's fun but I'm more of like a hands-on type person anyways so I love that I can say well I can change car you know I can do an oil change I can do construction work I can build a door I can build a chair I can build a house you know what I'm saying like I can do anything so I'm gonna make another video going into more detail about a couple of these topics because honestly like the stories to like Really explain everything are really long and like this is just not that video so I'm gonna make like separate videos like going into detail so let me know comment down below what you want me to tell you more about so just let me know okay so secret number five like six five six the notary thing was like a secret too because nobody knows that but I don't know I think this is six <laughs> all right might be five but I totaled my first car <laughs> Yeah, I totaled my first car. I actually totaled two cars. I was in a three car accident and apparently it was my fault, although I think that it wasn't. But, yeah, I totaled two cars and they sued me, yay! <laughs> they sued my ass, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, so my first car, um, it was a gift from my father. Shouts out to my father. Thank you, father. But I, uh, I did total my first car and, um, yeah. I might do a video. I think I'm gonna do a story time video on that, though. I just left the car dealership because I was fixing my belts that I got replaced and I had to get a hose tightened and just all type of stuff, right? So I did all that to my car. I'm feeling great. You feel me? Like, dang, like, my car just got back down. I'm popping. Like, we on a roll. We rolling. I ain't even go to school the other day. You feel me? Like, I ain't gonna love. Like, I was just, you feel me? I was, hey, it was just a good day. It was a good day, okay? So I'm just headed back home, you know. And next thing you know, boom, skirt, crash. So secret number seven about me, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I do not even know if I should be saying this, but I'm just gonna say it. I'm not gonna go into detail, but all I'm gonna say is that the first person that I fell in love with and that I was like really in love with <laughs> was crazy as hell. And I would just like to say that we only dated for four months and we ended in court. And yeah, so shit got real, real fast. It's so funny because like that was back when I was 16 and it's like, oh my gosh, why? Like, why? 
why, why, why? That's all I ask myself. But it's like, you know what? You really learn from your past. So it's like, you have to go through things. So I'm like glad, but it's like, oh, you feel me? It just feel like, oh. This is secret number eight about myself. Okay, so what I'm about to say is very weird, it's very strange, and it's very old, but I feel like I have to say it because I just feel like I need to say it. Yeah. So basically, when I was in like elementary school, elementary school, yeah, I was in elementary school. I don't remember if I was in the third or fourth grade, but I know for a 100% fact that I threw a rock at this boy's private area that I was like who cool went back then and I don't know why that this like came to my head like I think it was a couple weeks ago I was thinking about this and I'm just like oh <laughs> like that is so messed up like you know what I'm saying like I was a kid so I didn't know you feel me I didn't know I didn't know that was wrong I didn't know that that you feel me that would hurt and when I think back at what happened, like, I remember, like, me throwing a rock, and this dude, like, he literally laid out, y'all. Literally, all these years, like, I haven't thought about it, and it just popped in my head. And I don't know if that's, like, a sign from the universe. I don't know, but let me just say, basically, I say all that to say that I just want to sincerely apologize to him, because I know that that was damn, like, 20... 20. I know that that was like 10 years ago, but I'm very sorry because I did not know that that would be painful And I know that probably caused you pain and I just honestly do not know so but I just feel like I have to say that Like I really feel like that I have to say that and he knows who he is So I'm not gonna say his name, but if he watches this video then sorry <laughs> I'll pay to take you out to eat cuz I'm sorry like <laughs> I'll like take you to dinner or something like I'm sorry Hello? Uh, on the way up there, sorry, it was an emergency this morning. Not that far. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, y'all gonna be like, okay, fun fact number eight, she still be lying. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, so like, I just feel like I really have to apologize. Like, I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I feel like I have to say that. And like, like y'all, like, I'm telling you, I don't know why I feel the way I do. But I really feel like I have to apologize to him because that is some crazy stuff. And I was wild back in the day, y'all. Like, I was wild. Fun fact number nine is that I was a little bit wild in high school i'm not gonna go into like super details but trust me i got a lot of stories a lot a lot of stories and yeah that's just like i don't know y'all like i used to really like be mm -mm, i don't know my senior year i had three in school suspensions and probably like I lost count of how many Friday schools I had, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I started refusing them, like, and apparently you can't do that, whatever. But high school was crazy, like, that is so funny, y'all, so, so funny. Shout out to all my friends, hey, we was lit in high school, we was turnt. Sir, some odd soon. <laughs> it's a wanna thing, but, um, yeah, shout out to, shout out to all the Eagles. Shouts out to all the eagles. Y'all probably like, this girl is crazy. Look, let me tell y'all something. It's funny, in high school, I won most likely to be asleep. Like, I won out of everybody in the school. Fun fact, I never voted for myself. Like, I didn't even know. When they was doing all that stuff for the school, like, to pick, you know, like, who to win stuff, I literally, my sister did it. Like, I would tell her, I was like, oh yeah, my friend's running, like, make sure you put the da 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 their names down. I didn't even do anything past like my friends that I wanted to win for stuff. I didn't even know because I didn't know that many people in high school and I went to a big high school so I didn't really assume that people would vote for me. I didn't really think about it but I ended up winning most likely to be asleep but I feel like that says something that I won most likely to be asleep is kind of like damn like but I would be sleeping all the time and then after I thought about it I'm like yeah I used to be sleeping during tests and stuff so I could see why that happened. But I'm just like, yeah. Y'all, no lie. My kids, oh my gosh. 
if I have a child that, because you know how they say like your kids are like, they like tend to be bad, more bad than you. Like if I have a kid, yo, like my kid, <laughs> please, <laughs> please do not stress your mama out, damn. Like, cause I already know, like I know I stress my mama out, so shit. High school was fun though, I'm not gonna lie. I always felt like if you gonna turn up, you should turn up in high school, Not, don't be turning up in college. Cause then you you legal, you feel me? You get into some legal shit when you in college, you feel me? That's what they don't tell you, you know, bitch. You not no 17, no 16, no more. So they really gonna take your ass. Not only that, I just never really turned up in college for real as much as high school because I felt like for me, it was just weird, like to go out, uh, to be out of state with people that I don't know. Hell nah, I do not trust y'all. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, that's just is what it is. Like, I'm not gonna get belligerently drunk or be messed up around people I don't know because that just don't make sense to me. Like, I don't know, they don't know me, they don't have my, you know, my best interests and all of that. So, yeah, so yeah. This is the last fact about me, number 10. Yeah. So, basically, your girl got kicked off the track team. Yes, I did. In high school, <laughs> I definitely got kicked off the track team, y'all. I'm not going to lie. So, basically, let me tell y'all the story real quick. It's a, it's a quick little story. So, I did track in middle school at my old school, right? And you feel me, I did short distances. So, I did like 100 meter dash, 200 meter dash, and like four by two or something like that. And then... I transferred school, so in high school, I was like, oh yeah, like I should definitely do track again. So, first of all, like, <laughs> hey y'all, so this track at my new school was a little bit different than the track at my old school, like, because before, like, and I guess it was because I was in middle school too, so you know, it's more intense than high school. They not fucking around in high school in track, let me tell you. They is not fucking around. Like, they not, they they not playing around. So, I remember, I was at track practice, right? I only went to, I think I only went to one practice. This wasn't even practice, it was conditioning. It was conditioning before like the tryouts and all that, right? So, I think I went to like one practice, maybe two. I, she told me not to come back, so it might've just been one, I don't remember. But, so we doing like, you know, like dash sprints or whatever, like we're doing 200 meter dash sprints. First of all, we got to do like 10 of them, like, <laughs> first of all, you know, like 200 meters is half the track. They want us to sprint. You feel me? That's not, for me, like, I can only do that like two, two times, like once, two times maximum because the way my body is set up, like, I just, it just won't allow for anything. You feel me too much more. So, so these girls is doing this shit. Like, I'm thinking that, honestly, y'all, like, I thought that I was going, you feel me? I thought I was going to outrun some people. You feel me? Because I'm thinking that, you know, at my old school, back in middle school, I got a, a medal and everything for the dash, like, for the 200 meter dash and everything. So I'm thinking, like, I'm about to outrun people. Whatever. She's talking about go. We start running. Y'all, I'm literally like, oh, y'all. <laughs> y'all, like, y'all, when I tell you that day, like, I was just like, I said, oh yeah, like, this is not what I thought. So then, so then we was doing all that. That was just like the warm up drills. Like, that wasn't even the freaking practice. So that's the warm up drills. She's like, oh yeah, like, we're gonna run to the graveyard. The fuck? What you mean we go run to the graveyard? Like, so the graveyard is like a solid two, three miles up the street. And then run in the graveyard. So we run to the graveyard, right? So first of all, I'm already like, I ain't gonna hold y'all. Like, I'm I'm in the back. Okay, I'm in the back. And there was another girl that I was in the back with. She fell and everything. So I'm like, shoot, let me try to, you know, help her. Like, let me at least act like I'm helping her, you feel me? But then the lady like, come on. Like, I'm like, damn, like, they not playing. Like, so, anywho, so we was in the graveyard. They did, like, hill sprints in the graveyard, whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all. I just knew at that time that, like, that was it. Like, I was, I can't, I Bro, like my body, no. So then she talking about, okay, everybody has to run back. What? Run back? So we had to run back to the school, right? Run back to the track. And then she talking about, oh, um, whoever walks is off the team. Da 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 da. Oh <laughs> y'all, I'm like trying to like jog, like y'all, like I'm, I'm going through it, y'all. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm, like, 
y'all. No. Oh my gosh. So, long story short, my ass ended up walking back to that track. And then when I got back to the track, she was like, oh, uh, are you ready for practice? I'm like, what? Like, yeah. She was like, oh, I don't think you're ready. I think you should go home. Like, I'm like, what? Like, okay. Like, <laughs> I was like, okay. Like, I called my sister. I'm like, yeah, um, I got done early. Can you come pick me up? Like, <laughs> My sister got there. She's like, oh, you're out of practice early. I'm like, yeah, they kicked me off the team. Like, she's like, oh, wow, I'm like, for walking. Like, that was, yo, 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 yo. I knew I was not going to be no track star after that day. Like, but y'all, that shit is so funny now, like, thinking about it. Because it was like, at the time, y'all, it was just so, it was so goofy. I think that I'm going to close this video out right here close this video out right here but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys were able to know a little bit more about me and i hope y'all like okay girl let me stay away from your crazy ass okay like hopefully y'all don't think i'm too wild like you still like mess with me like hopefully like y'all don't leave because you think like i'm really like off the chain but like i promise like I'm kind of normal. <laughs> ah, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button and press the notification bell so you know when my next video is out. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of y'all's day. Peace.